Folks, come on over for the Big Linen Show, right here on my take on Home and Garden. By popular demand and a few requests over time, I'm going to take you on an adventure through our linens and the two tables that I do for you all the time. We're going to make it fun. Trust me, it's going to be fun. I'm going to show some of the tablecloths and mostly in the plain and damask style. Then I'm going over to the table and I'm going to show you our 54 inch round table with three different size tablecloths on it so you can get an idea of what's right or what you might want at home. And the difference, especially with what you're trying to pull off. Is it a luncheon? Is it a tea? Is it a wedding? Is it dinner? Big difference and some know that Every size does not work for your table. So we're going to go over that. Going to make it fun. Let's get going. Now I have an assortment of the tablecloths that I use on the show, of course. Most of them you've seen. And I've pulled out all the cloth napkins that I use as well. I'm not showing in this video any runners or Christmas. So I'm going to do them in a different show. There's too much and we won't have time. Okay. In the big 54 wide by 160 inches is what I need for this table. And with those measurements, it's a 42 wide. The tablecloth has to be 54 wide, which is normal standard for a rectangular table like this. The length depends on what you have. Now, you can measure your table, and when you're shopping, keep that note in your purse or wallet or keep it in your head if you're good at that. <laughs> um, what I like to go by as a standard is at least six inches over the table all the way around. Okay, that's normal, standard to me. It could be longer if you want to be more formal, like a wedding, a wedding head table for the wedding party, you'll see that what they call this part is called the drop. Okay, why? Because it drops over the top. Very simple. The more that drops, the more formal typically. Now, two things here. We'll see that with the round table. You don't want it on their legs, their lap. <laughs> you don't want it on, on the floor. Although some I've seen really push it and have them dusting the floor. Maybe it's a modern thing. We're not modern here. We don't care. So let's look at some of the beautiful today. This is what I call a basic pastel set. And I want to point out also that this is an off-white. This one is what I got on the table now. So I want you to be able to see the difference here with the off-white and the white. What's the big deal? Well, I think the white-white is more formal. It's more holiday, it's more birthday, it's more wedding-like, special occasion-like, if you will, okay? Now, maybe more Christmassy, but if you want a particular look 
and you're using vintage pieces, maybe you're doing an older style or a toned down look, you're going to want an off-white. And you'll see that if you run through the tables videos that we have already, you'll see some examples of that. Okay, now, in the black, black is typically very formal. It's not my favorite to work with, but I do include it because the very first big table I did on our channel was with the black tablecloth. It got a lot of attention and it is gorgeous and it is in the oriental flavor. You can see that and watch that anytime. Let's talk about a light yellow like this. Right away, what does that inspire? Hmm, Easter? Okay, maybe a birthday? but certainly summer, summer yellow. We've just seen that in the home tour, right? How about pink? God forbid we don't have that. <laughs> Angela wants it. And it's very feminine. It's Eastery. It's Valentine's Day. So we want to include that in our base. Next, if it's getting too hard to see, this is what I call kind of a mint or neutral toned down green. Even though it's green, it's not loud. And even though I love emerald green, that's a lot to put on a big table. And these are all for the big table that I'm talking about right now. Just gorgeous. Again, this is a particular holiday birthday again easter there's a few colors already right there's like five colors here for easter you can't lose with its damask pattern what do we get when we dip into one like this this is not barnyard brown it is a lighter brown it's called mushroom it's a wonderful brown toned down okay what do you start thinking of here well i start thinking of summer's over we're losing our colors that's what happens things are turning that's what i get from this and i love this color you can find some lighter you can find them darker Darker is tough for me because dark is not happy as a rule. Next we have this wonderful, I'm not sure what their brand calls it, but I think it's an autumn rust, okay? You know, you've seen a couple of tables like this and in the fall, this one's hard to beat. It's gorgeous for fall. I see some of them out there in, <laughs> in friend and subscriber land just with a big grin because they can't wait for fall. They love those colors. You've seen probably at least one of our fall home tours. Man, can I key off them too. I get it. I love that. Just to show you, if you are entertaining like, again, those of you that have been on our channel, you've seen where we have to have more than one table set up for the whole family to be here. So I can set up for 17. So you'll see that I have the matching linen for the small table as with the big. Okay, and this mushroom is over at the table. So we'll see that shortly when we get over there. Our round table is 54 inches. It's probably pretty, pretty much an extra big kitchen table. 
There's all different sizes. My rule of thumb is once you get over there, you want to add 12 inches. So I need 66. You're not going to find it. It's not normal. You're going to find 70. Okay, so I want the next one. 70 is what you see me always use at the round table. And again, we're going to be over there in a minute and look at it. But I want to go through the uh, solid colors for the small table because we got some different ones. Obviously, it's easier for me to do the small table. It's a place setting for five. That's who's in our immediate family and when they're home. And so I can step out and do more without a huge, huge expense. You know, um, again, this is different in the light lime or celery green and I can get a couple of different tables out of this. It could be a birthday. It could be spring. This is a real spring color to me. Okay, now again, that lemon custard yellow. Look at this beauty. Here we are again where the tables both have the same color to match. Obviously, I have not sure where it is right now. Um, the white here I have for the small table as well. That is stashed somewhere where it normally isn't. So it might have just come out of the laundry. <laughs> Next, we'll get into some more of those. Look at this beauty. Undeniable. Now, this might be a lot on the big table. Some of you would, wouldn't care because you love this lavender. You love this lavender for Easter. And this particular one in the Damas style has bunnies and eggs on it. So it definitely is an Eastery one. Hard to beat at Easter time. You may have seen one I did with that for Easter. Then I get really excited about this deeper, what we used to call eggplant, right? Wonderful deep violet in the damask style. And what I love about this is this really shows the background as a little lighter, but the details being a little darker really show up on this. And this is a fabulous Easter, even summer color. It's also a winter color. And I did a Christmas table to beat the band with this. And it was spectacular. You might remember. Let's look at another solid color. This is navy blue. And I rarely, I think I've done one table with this. <laughs> it's dark and plain to me and you know not a first thought but it's very dark probably it might even look black to some of you but it's navy blue there's that and now i'm gonna set up and show you what we do at the round table we're gonna come back here now i have all the Fancy fun ones, so don't go away. We're coming back here, too. Okay, guys, I pulled the chairs away so you can get a good look at this table. Hopefully, everybody can see. 54-inch top. Now, I want to show you one that's not right for this table, and that's 60-inch. Okay, so that's 54 and 60-inch cloth. Okay, <laughs> your company is going to think either you shrank the laundry and you're not a good laundress or laundry person <laughs> or you're just hurting for tablecloths, okay? Obviously, this is rough. We're not worrying about ironing. We're not ironing today for this show. Trust me. 
This is not good. <laughs> so, okay, we get that. Frankly, I bought this for a little outside table when we have a garden tea. Here again, here's a 60 inch tablecloth on a 54 inch table. Even for black and for your Halloween party, you see clearly it's just not right. You can try to stretch it by ironing, it's not going to be enough. Let's look at one that is right. Here's the black. In a textured linen, this means it's not 100% cotton and they're going to give it a waffled effect by using a little poly in there. But it is a pretty one. Proper drop all the way around the table. This is normal. Okay, six or eight inches. Love that. Now we're going to go and we're going to say, well, we want to do a wedding. We want more formal. I don't have a big white one for this, but I do have one in the mushroom. And this is 90 inch diameter. Okay, so I told you the last one was 70. That's my normal. And this is 90. So it's going to be another 10 inches over the side of the table. We're going to pull that even all the way around. And this is a pretty look. But this is my point now. Can you see that on the chairs? Okay, it's on their lap or they have to push it under, okay, like this. This shows you there's a more formal look now at 90 inches on 54. Let's go back and see some of the beautiful different pieces at the table, the big table. Okay, let's get into some basic blue and white. Okay, we have our fabulous, one of my favorites. This is almost like a worn denim, 100% cotton again. You see, it's a faded stripe. This is like this brand new, okay, on purpose. And that's why I loved it. And you may have remember our table that I did in this. Then we have the classic check. Buffalo check, maybe gingham, okay, they'll call it. And this again is a 70 inch round, that classic look, which I just, something about that 50s diner, you know, that just makes your heart melt. It's so cute and innocent. That's what I see with a cloth like this. Then we have, this is more like a buffalo check, the bigger check, and gingham, okay? And this is a beautiful tablecloth. And this is a rectangular one that I bought for the island to do the 4th of July tables with the other one. I wanted them different and if you can see that in our channel and it come out really super cute. Now I'm gonna have to watch teasing because as I talk about what I see and think when I see different tablecloth patterns, okay? This inspires me to think out of the box. The color's different, the pattern's different. This is not from Boston, Massachusetts, okay? <laughs> this doesn't make me think of a Rocky Mountain High in Colorado. This, to me, is a Far East look. These, again, in 100% cotton, I love because of the inspiration. Now, you just saw one 
You know what I'm talking about. You just saw one for Romania. But there's going to be more, and there's going to be new ones. Okay. Here we go again. What do you see when I open this up? Do you see the Balkans? Do you see rural France, maybe? In the black and white. You can't lose with the color scheme because you only have two. It's still very beautiful, but you gotta watch your choices on everything else. That's what I try to do. And if you're following what I'm doing and what I'm talking about when I build a table, that's all in play, okay? I'm probably gonna have to really keep moving. Here it is. I couldn't resist the same pattern in the red and white. Again, right away. Eastern Europe, Western Europe, wonderful. Now we're going to go beyond those and dip into some even more drastic patterns. And this one you just saw, so I might as well get it out. That just made me think of Romania or however you want to say it, Romania, old world or new world, love, Romanian countryside and the people. Okay, now the one that reminds me of this, someone, one of our friends and uh, subscribers mentioned this one. They said they had this one, so I have to show them. And I told them, we have this one. <laughs> I got this two years ago. Why? Because this is so fall. I don't care where you live or where you're from. This was so pretty to me for fall. And this is truly a linen look. And I'm going to amplify that with the napkins. If I run out of film, I'm going to have to touch on these right now. This is a linen napkin. See how close? It's not super white like this isn't. See the difference? So you can see white, white, formal white. White is always formal or it's holiday to me. When you want to be cozy, comfortable, and down home, you break out a tablecloth like this in the fall with that linen, wonderful, off-white look. And here's your off-white, all cotton. Feel the feel. and the When you're sitting there talking, why is it a big deal to me? If my skin touches it, I'm so happy. I'm happy. Now, I want to enjoy my dinner, my food, and I want to talk longer with my people, my friends, my family, whoever's there. Even the tablecloth is important, so that's how I think. Check it out. Love this. So different. Okay, again, made in India, and these were bought on Amazon. As much as I don't like supporting monopolies, I got to tell you, when somebody's doing a job and they're doing a good job, they don't sponsor us. We, we do have an affiliate program with them. I don't think we've ever made one dollar because it takes a lot of purchases to get it. That's not why I recommend it. I recommend it as a friend and things that work for us and things that you know, companies that actually really do a job for us. That's who you're going to hear me talk about. You know that anyway, all our regular folks. Here's another one. I've used this once. The minute I used it, people said, I have to have that. I'm going to look for it right now. And somebody did get it. At least one said they, they bought the same thing. Again, made in India, 100% cotton, wonderful. 
you know, you folks that are worried about having to iron, I forget who it was, somebody, it doesn't matter, somebody said, do you have to iron all those before you use them? Uh, yeah. You know how long it takes me to iron a round tablecloth? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. It's not a big deal. Okay. Today, everybody's worried about how long something takes or how can I shortcut everything? You're in a hurry to shortcut everything for what? <laughs> this is where I'll have to watch teasing because we got a lot of grandmothers out there and bless your heart for everything you did for your family and still do. I loved all my grandmothers, there's no doubt about it. You saw a table that I did, I think this spring or Easter, with this. Now, I bought it online, I got a real good deal, it's 100% cotton, and when I got it, I almost died because I thought, man, that's really grandma, really grandma looking. How am I ever going to use this? And I'll tell you right now, this has been in the uh, linen cabinet for two and a half years before I used it. I was afraid of it until one day I said, you know what? Let me, let me look at that again. And I said, I, I know why I bought it. I love the colors in there. And look at this, Eastery tulips, right? Lily, my goodness, it goes on and on. So cute. So I forced myself to put things together so I could use it. And I think you'll agree, everybody loved it. It was really good. And like I talk, something busy, something off the chain a bit, off the norm. You know, the needle is way over to the right. Once you set your table, especially with chargers, you tone that down and mellow it down big time. So all of a sudden you realize it's not too much. And that's really the trick. Would I have this on the table just during the week with nothing on it? No, probably not. <laughs> this is the last but not least before I run out of film. A classic, okay? This can be European, it can be English, it can be French, it could be Espania, it could be Italia, it can be the U.S. of A, it could be Canadian. They have apple trees, grapes, fruit, you name it. This is one of those universal looks that just fits anything you want to make it. And you tweak it with your beautiful dinnerware set, right? And if you remember, I had the matching napkins to this. And I think I've only used this table once. With the black background, again, not my favorite. Not my first pick. But when you do it right, in the right time of year, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Miss Elizabeth, something she sent before that I didn't use yet, the cutie, in a peacock napkin. <laughs> I think all cotton. It feels pretty good. She keeps trying to push me towards different genres, I think, than what I'm normally do but 
She's been a doll and those are real pretty. So we thank her again and we have other things to show, but that's not this show. All right, guys, thanks. Hey, hopefully you had a good time. You got to see our vast supply of linens and how I feel about them and how I think about size, lengths, colors, and so on. And hopefully you'll give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over, click on another one. <laughs> Maybe something made you want to go see a table that we already did. But you know, there's a lot more coming. A lot more fun to come. Take care now, and we'll see you in the next amazing decorator and collector video.